So this video is more about the components that we need to have before we move any Alteryx workflow into production. So one is input node, of course the source of the workflow. Then there are two output nodes, one is this and one is this. So now this is data extension creation and this is target list. We'll go into more details later, but just uh, let's go uh, what all we need in the input node. So in this input uh, node, if you can see, we have used a, a stored procedure to get the data. So for writing any stored procedure or executing any stored procedure, we have to always write it under pre-sql statement. So you can see uh, right below pre-sql statement, there is post-sql statement. So pre is something that you want to execute before and post is something that you want to execute after so depending on your uh, requirements what you want you can play around with it and use them accordingly so in my case i have to just uh, execute this stored procedure to fetch the data so i wrote it under pre-sql statement just like so and to pull the data again we have to write it uh, under table or query just like so a simple select query Another thing is uh, the database connection, it is there, read uncommitted checkbox is checked. So our input node is completely fine. Now if you want to see the, uh, I mean, I'll show you later when we will execute this workflow, how and where we can see what is the state or stage at which stage uh, our workflow is at. So this is one part, important part that is input. The another two important things are the output node. So this is data extension creation. So basically in this, this one is this output will give you the structure of the table in which we would like to load the data in Salesforce. So just like any table, we have to create uh, into database before we load any uh, data into it. This is same. So this will create the structure in which we load the data and target list is nothing. The data that we want to load into the table so these are the two inputs of course we need a uh, data extension or the structure we need first so we'll execute this part first and then the second part is target list that will give us the output and that will be loaded into the structure created by data extension creation now another important thing that i'd like to bring to your notice is for creating any data extension we will need this macro in previous video, I've told you how to add this macro. So when we use, whenever we have to use or whenever we use this macro, particular macro, we have to make sure that output file is always in this format. It is, uh, the delimiter would be always backslash T and the output file would always add with dot txt. And the file name must follow this format ce underscore site id so site id is like just like we told you uh, i told you in previous videos three x's so it could be ajc it could be aas anything and the name another important thing that we have to always always keep in mind the name of these two things you can see ce ajc underscore atx underscore expired underscore stop underscore d5 dot txt and this is almost same and if these are not same we will always get error while trying to load the data into production so always keep in mind name of these two would always be same the only difference is this would always have dot txt and this won't have dot txt and the reason why this does not have dot txt is because we are already adding dot txt uh, in the previous formula tool here so you can see it here so this is important thing that we have to keep in mind and uh, another important thing is while uh, for target list the delimiter would always be pipe delimiter the file type would be csv dot csv and these are the few extra steps that we have to follow so the very first one is you have to check this box you have to always keep this option and here you have to always select file name so these are the few things that you have to always keep in mind. Another important thing. So since this is data extension creation, so it would always be saved in 
folder under data extension and this is a uh, target list so this would always be uh, saved under target list so let's go where we save it when it is not in uh, production but still under development so for that uh, like for this one data extension let's uh, see where we can we'll save this so as i mentioned earlier in uh, videos that there is a dedicated folder under uh, dropbox named Alteryx. So under Alteryx, you go to uh, production non schedule, and there you, I mean, under SFMC solution, under workflow, your workflow would be saved. But for data extension, you have to go to data extension folder. So this is where you will save your data extension uh, output file. And for target list, like uh, just like before, we have to go to Alteryx folder under Dropbox, then we have to go to production non schedule, then under SFMC solution, this is the target list folder that is where you will always save your target list. And again, I like to repeat this is the steps for these are the steps for just a development of workflow that is still under development. So now let's execute this uh, workflow and see what is the output or how we can see what all we get so let's as mentioned in earlier video just press this button so this this is done we get this window whenever in uh, workflow is executed press ok now you can see here under result window what all we'll get another thing before we move there so like suppose you want to see what all uh, at what step what uh, data was pulled you can just press on these green buttons and then you can see see what was the data under email column what was the what was the data under publish date column etc and how uh, or what fold uh, columns were sent to data creation that you can again press on the screen button and you can see all these uh, this is the structure or these are the columns that were built as a part of this data extension and for target list again what was the data again whenever you press on this one you can uh, see what was the data pulled so now to see the text file that were uh, produced go to result window press on this one so it will show you this is what your table structure would look like and this is dot txt file that we need to load into production so for that we'll see in another video and likewise these were the target lists that were produced so just like this so this is where you can see all errors results etc another important thing that i would like to bring to your notice is these toolboxes or tool containers could be disabled so in case you don't want any output to be written you can just press uh, click on this disable button and they'll be disabled so whenever you'll run this workflow everything would be run uh, would run but you won't see anything written to the respective folders where you have mapped your output file so just like i mean you don't see anything coming out or uh, being written into fold folders so this way you can test uh, like if you're getting correct data or correct results so let's go to another video where we can see how we can move workflow to production. Thank you.